and welcome to another Paper Craft Society box reveal. This month we're revealing the contents of a box that have been designed by the lovely Helen Griffin of Simply Made Cards. So she has designed this beautiful vintage travel box for us. Now don't forget every Paper Craft Society box has over £65 worth of product in it delivered to your door for free in the UK. So before we have a delve into the contents let's have a look at some of the projects that you could be making using that project booklet that is included. So we are particularly looking at vintage travel and albums. Now this is something that Helen does so very well. She really does put a lot of time and effort into making things like pockets and tags for us, tabs as well. We have got the ability to create these beautiful travel albums. And of course you can use the essentials here to make albums for other things as well. They don't have to be for travel. I absolutely love this photo flip book that has been designed here. Now everything that I'm showing you are projects from the booklet that's inside the box. This booklet has usually 15 or 16 projects at least, lots of tips and techniques for using the contents of the box. But we're not just talking about albums. There is another one here for you, I just want to show you a two page one, but we're also talking about cards as well, which I'll be showing you. Can you see a theme here with the beautiful colours? The patterns and the papers that have been used are stunning. We've got some gorgeous florals in here, lots of tabs and tags and pockets that I'm going to show you in a little while. But this is amazing. So of course, with every Paper Craft Society box, we try to get in some masculine and some feminine makes, and we have those included here. This card is stunning. We have elements like the gold foiled frames there. They really do look amazing for a feminine card. And I love the dark inking that we've got around this project here. This is made to look like a suitcase designed by the lovely Sam Calcott for the project booklet. And of course, we're also looking at three dimensional projects too. So this suitcase has also been created using some of the craft card stock that's included in the kit and also some of the tags as well. Now let's delve into the box and see exactly what you're getting. So first thing, I always adore the pattern on the outside of the box. And if you do repurpose your box, we'd love to see those over on Craft Stash social pages. If you just tag hashtag Paper Craft Society and we can see them. Uh, so inside here we have a quote from Helen. It's, I love making mini albums, so I'm delighted to bring you this box of beautiful memory keeping supplies. So we are talking all about us. Uh, documenting your memories and travel things as well. But I look at this beautiful floral pattern paper on the wallet. It's gorgeous. The wallet is usually one of my favorite pieces. We do have the name Paper Craft Society Box 21 and Simply Made Crafts on the spine. So if you have been already storing all of these together, maybe on a bookshelf to keep all of your dies, your stamps and papers together, you're easily going to be able to see which one this is. Now, inside here, we also have lots of other goodies, but I'll open that in a moment. This is how your box is going to come to you. So you'll have some things wrapped in tissue and some things in the wallet. The wallet has Velcro on it. Uh, memory making made easy. And have you caught the mini album bug yet? <laughs> I love that, I love the quotes. I think it just has that personalized touch. Now, shall we start first of all with the dies? So the dies here, as I can see by looking at these, we have got dies that are going to create lots of tabs and pockets for us. This is the outer die here that created that flip book. If I just return back very quickly, I believe it's um, in here, this one. Here we go. So you can see these flip pages. I believe that's what's been used here, this outer die to create that. There's going to be so much instruction for you inside the booklet, so don't worry, you're not going to be left on your own making these mini albums. We've got tabs and tags as well. We've even got some florals there to add as embellishments. Oh, and I love this little film strip that we're getting. So there are a lot of dies included in here. Now let's move on to the papers in the middle. The papers are reflected, of course, in the projects that I showed you at the beginning, but also on the box and on the wallet, on the outer skirts there. Look at that. So we have got gorgeous navy blue. We've got vintage flowers inside, but we've also got travel stamps and postmarks as well. Uh, and if you delve right into the very background, I'm not sure how well you can see this because it's very subtle. We've even got a uh, butterfly and script, almost watermark elements in the background of this paper as well. So there's two sheets of this. 
we've got that echoed in a, sheet, a full sheet or two full sheets of tags there that you can be cutting out. In fact, if I just have a look, yes, I thought so. So we have a die included in the die set here that perfectly overlays these tags and will cut them out for you. So really easy, no fussy cutting required. So there's two sheets of those. This is a really good quality cardstock as well. I would say this is around about maybe 180. Um, I'll have to check what weight that is exactly, but it's a really good quality. I would say more a cardstock than a paper. Then we have this neutral paper. This is going to be perfect for both your masculine and feminine makes. Um, we have, again, the airplanes. We have those postage stamps as well, and we have scripts in there, all on a distressed background. Nice, neutral, creamy, ivory colour. And then we have a pink version of those flowers. Again, we have butterflies and scripts in the background, two sheets of each. They're all single-sided, so they have the white on the back, so you can be rolling and tearing and distressing too to help you build up your projects. I am in love with those papers. Now, the stamps. There's a lot of stamps on here. I'm just going to hold the reverse of one of these underneath so we can really see the detail that we're getting. We have, let's look at the larger Im images first. We have the luggage, the suitcase there. Uh, we have a beautiful butterfly which coordinates with some of the papers uh, along with the roses as well. We have some of these stamps here. So we've got France, Canada, London. You can mix and match them, can't you, just to represent travel. Uh, again, another postmark here with a butterfly in and it says post stamp post office on it. And then some of these um, sentiments. So we have sorry you're leaving. Um, special friend. Good luck on your new adventure. We have a uh, new place, new dreams, new memories. Um, what else do we have? Adventure, place photo here. We actually saw that in some of the examples that I was showing you. So it's a really good way of building uh, a scrapbook or a mini album or something, even when you don't quite have the photos to hand, maybe for someone else to apply their own photos to. Um, we also have always together, never apart, maybe in distance, but never in heart. That is lovely. I've never heard that phrase before. That's beautiful. And the script here to be able to create your backgrounds. And in fact, I'm just looking, that is readable. So you can build that up if you want to incorporate that into your sentiments. So they're all clear, good quality stamps there. Underneath, we have this pack of gold here. Now this looks like it's die cut frames and such. So we've got a rose there. I wonder how many of these we get and what material it is. Let's just open this up and have a look. So there's, oh, there's two, there are two sheets of gold foiled elements. So we have in here, everything's die cut. So it's all popping away beautifully. In fact, really good quality because the tabs are not showing when you break them away. Uh, we have rectangle frames. We have hearts and butterflies. We have a rose and we have the square frames. But the square frames all have various different designs of frames and corners on them. So both in gold with the white on the back. Now I love that the way they've been die cut, they're like they've been laser cut. So they've got that darker, almost burnt edge to them. And it would be really lovely to actually use that in your projects if you wanted to. So use that side rather than the foiled side. So you have that uh, versatility of being able to use both. So let's now have a look inside the rest of the box. So of course you do have your special offer inside the box as well with your Papercraft Society box. And I'm just opening up with the sticker here. I always keep the tissue paper. It's fantastic for, um, for other projects if you want to use that. So don't throw your tissue paper away. And we do always try to make sure that it's a different color for you too. So this is a lovely bright fuchsia pink this time. So what do we have here? Now we have, first of all, the paper clips. I'm in love with paper clips. Anything stationary, I adore anyway. But we've got gold paper clips that are shaped as well, like cameras with the hearts as the lenses and then airplanes as well. These are such good fun, aren't they? I saw a lot of the paper clips on the projects that we were looking at earlier. Then we have so many variations. What will you make? Ah, so what Helen's done here, she's given you a mini album construction guide. There's a lot to go through. I won't read it through. I'll keep it as a surprise for you. Uh, but it looks like lots of measurements and instructions on creating your own mini albums. 
Now we have some paper as well. We'll go through the ink pads in just a moment. But we have some cardstock. Now it's coordinating cardstock to go with your pattern papers that you have and of course all the other elements that we've seen in the box so far. Double-sided cardstock too, a beautiful print on there. It's actually um, really good quality. So sometimes with a solid cardstock, what you find is you can see lines or, or uh, a pattern where it's been printed, but this is perfectly smooth. So I love the quality of this. We've got that beautiful navy blue. We've got the bright fuchsia pink. Two sheets of each here. We've got the blush pink as well. Everything just works together so well. I'm in love with this. And then we have a beautiful uh, peachy colour as well. So gorgeous. And lastly, for the cardstock, we have craft. Now we saw craft in a lot of those projects running throughout uh, the kit, so or throughout the project booklet. So this craft cardstock is going to work so, so well with everything that we've got already. I love the colour combinations that we've got. So lastly, let's just look at these ink pads now. Let me just pop these to the side. Now we have two ink pads, they're usually hybrid inks in here. Um, we have the navy, first of all, lovely deep colour. Let's do a swatch of that for you. Wow, look at that colour. Now, if I just bring in for you the blue that we started with in the cardstock, look how well, how perfectly do they match? I mean, could you get a better match, really? And I'm guessing, I'm going to go into my wallet now, this blue is going to also work very well with this blue as well. Oh, look at those, absolutely perfect, made to go together. Let's have a look at that pink as well. And again, it looks like a really juicy ink pad here. An amazing, amazing color. Let's just do one more. We're going to just compare that cardstock that we have. Look how bright and vibrant and how well they match together. Everything just coordinates absolutely perfectly. These ink pads are going to be perfect for you for stamping your clear stamps that are included in the wallet. Everything is just going to come together without even thinking about it. So that's everything that's included inside your Papercraft Society box and of course the project booklet as well jam-packed filled with lots of projects from different designers using everything in the kit and only basic other tools and materials that you should have at home you're going to have so much fun with these and if you are creating projects using your papercraft society box please make sure you use the hashtag papercraft society over on social media as well so we can all see and share your projects too if you want to have more information about what papercraft society boxes please visit www.papercraftsociety.co.uk